You know, that pisses me off about Harbor Freight, those extension sets. Did I, did I tell you about this before? What is up, Team Machine? Today in New York State, I'm happy to say that it is a wonderful day. Super warm, super froggy fresh. We don't even need the heat on today. I have Jason here. This is the first time he's seen Crush in person. He's been following the videos. So what do you think of this thing so far? I think it's salvageable. It doesn't have 35 miles on it, does it? No. Nowhere no. near. So he, he hasn't heard this thing because he, he literally just got here. So I'm gonna fire it up for him for the first time and he's gonna get to hear it. I discovered something yesterday and I'll tell you about that in this video. Here we go. Start, starts up relatively quick. Still popping code 35. I don't know, I, I don't see it on the dash right now. I mean, I turn it on. And it just gives you the mileage. It tells you the trips. It tells you the trips, the odometer. But the 35 didn't come back up? No, 35. So new plugs must have fixed that. Yeah. So no error codes. EPS, what is EPS? Now I want to talk about my dirty little secret that I told you last upload I would talk to you about. And this dirty little secret is beneficial to everybody, including you. Now there's a reason why I mentioned that tent yesterday and you're gonna start seeing a lot of that tent in the future. And the reason is, is because I'm going to race Crush. Crush is going to be an awesome machine that is going to go across the country and race. So, so it's, ex it's extremely cool, it's, it's very, very cool. We're gonna get Crush out there, we're gonna get Jason out there, Jake, Seth, my girlfriend, me. Cole, we're gonna go out, meet you guys at the races, race it up, come back to the tent, meet you guys, and just have a lot of fun. That's what it comes down to. So the circus tent is going to be like a small portion of my store, and we're gonna do like shout outs like for right now. Like, I wanna give out a couple shout outs from yesterday. So like Joseph O, Shauna C, Kay Bailey, Tyler B, Daniel M, Karen P, and Chase A. You guys all have the vision, and you all support and make this channel possible. So thank you all very much. Back to the racing thing. I think there are some races in the Carolinas, north and south, in Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Florida, and a few other states. Um, but the cool thing is, is there's only a couple, couple races for me because UTV racing is still new, and it's new to me. But the cool thing is, is we're also going to go to Jake and Seth's races. So for example, when they go and race their dirt bikes and there isn't a UTV race, Chances are 3D Machines will be there with Crush, will possibly be there with Crush to be a support vehicle, to go and help people, to go and pick people up, to just, you know, to cart us around. So it's all gonna be a super, super exciting year. So I hope you guys are ready to be machines and machine freaks and get there and meet us. Now, if you think that's cool, then the next thing is going to be even cooler. If you ride a dirt bike, four-wheeler, UTV, tractor, race car, figure eight car, school bus, anything in the competitive realm, we've established a giveaway. So when you go to machinemerch.com and click above, there are a couple different choices. You have apparel, all machine products, decals, gear, and machine give back. When you click the machine give back, you can see what I'm talking about right here. So basically how the give back works, if you like what we do here, which a lot of you do, um, you can rock machine on your bike or on your UTV, all that stuff, or on yourself and uh, you just follow the rules. It's like submit a picture, your order number, and your name. You get free decals and 20% off of all of your apparel, no matter what you buy. If you buy a hat, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, another sweatshirt, you can get, you can get free decals up to a, a maximum, and then you get 20% off of all of your merch. Super stoked about that. So let's get to this 3D Machines production. So just put a little bit of pressure on it, just a little bit. Got it. There. That's gonna be a push rod. Yesterday after, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Try, trying to vlog here, Jason. Sure. Yesterday, yesterday I got this machine running, which is really, really good. 
But then after that, I, I ended the vlog and Seth came up and he's like, hey, try to put it into gear. So I tried to put it into gear. I was gonna wait for you guys, but Seth wanted to see it. Blame it on Seth. So I put it into gear, had the clutch in. Well, the clutch went in so hard. Like it, it took a lot of force to push it down. And Jason sees that right now. So. So I'm like, okay, well, hopefully it's just stuck engaged or something. I, I didn't want to be evil Knievel and leave the tires on the ground, so we jacked them up so that I wouldn't go through that door. Yeah. Threw it in first gear, nothing. Threw it in second gear, nothing. Threw it in reverse, nothing. This thing is not moving, so there's something screwed up with the transmission or the master cylinder or a push rod or something along the lines um, with the clutch. Kind of like a brake cylinder here, but it's like that big round, and then there's a rod in the center of it that pushes all the way through to the transmission, or to the uh, clutch, which is right here. Okay. So the, you're gonna have a clutch basket right there, so if we can get that off, okay. and get to the clutch basket, we can, we can see what's going on. Okay, so, so we'll take, we probably wanna clean a lot of this up, man. Yeah. We don't want debris getting in there. So this, yeah, th this only throws, this only throws like maybe a quarter of an inch, yeah. not even that because it's doing that pushing against the springs on the other side with, that uh, releases the tension on the plates. So hopefully, so we'll just, yeah, that's easy enough to do. That's what we're so gonna I'm do. Ho I'm hoping what the problem is here is that this guy just burnt all those discs. There huh. it yeah, absolutely, yeah. But either way, I think our problem's gonna be right here in the clutch basket. So it looks like we're gonna tear this transmission apart. We have that. I actually have my window down. I haven't had my window down in months. Thank you, Mother Nature. transmission and the engine are separated. You saw the fact that we cleaned Crush, but you didn't see as we went home, and we actually met the UPS guy, perfect timing. And I have more, I guess. We have more? Yeah, there's another box. I'm not sure if any of you noticed, but I have my machine decal off my window. It's not the, yeah. It's not. <laughs> my windshield actually cracked like all along the bottom, so I haven't put a new decal on this one yet. However, Jason's making the team look good. Here's the clean compartment. It's looking really, really good. Um, this is what we're dealing with, the transmission. Looks straight to me. Oh, it came out for you? How'd you get your hands on there? With, a, with a, probably a three inch extension. The one that I've already put on it? Yeah. No, you can't use that. I'm looking at the... Yeah, I, I want to explain it to the, to the less educated people. So um, if you don't know how a clutch works and you're young and you wanna learn something real quick, let me show you something. So imagine my foot is the engine, okay? And imagine that wood is your tires. Now if, I, if I'm not connected to that, the wood doesn't move. But as soon as I put my foot on there, it doesn't spin either. So right now what's happening is my foot can't touch the wheels. There's a lot more components to it, but that's basically how a clutch works. I'm working on removing the seat. Jake's work, Jake. Jason's working on, I called him Jake. Did you hit your head? He's, he's working on the transmission. I'm removing the seat so I can get to the transmission and help him, but, but I go, 
Man, I can't believe Jake didn't come up here before work. And then what did you say? He said he's gonna be the next one to flip it. Jake, you better not. But if you do, make sure we got the shot! Uh. Yeah.